Um, I call the time meeting back to order. Um, before um, finding out if the tellers have a count on the um, secret ballot on Warren Article 8, I'm prepared to announce the results on uh, the secret ballot for Warren Article 7. Warrant Article 7 pertained to the transfer station improvements. Um, the vote was 85 yes, 27 no. 75.8% of those voting voted in favor of Article 7. Uh, it required a two thirds vote on finding Article 7 carries. Uh, it has been adopted by this body. Under uh, the authority of Article 4014, I would move reconsideration on Articles 5, 6, and 7 and urge the body to vote no. I'm sorry, you urge the body to vote strict for reconsideration. Right, right. So a vote. Perfect. I would urge the body to not allow reconsideration on Articles 5, 6, and 7. And we're going to vote yes on it. Okay, so under RSA 40, that's your pen. Um, it's, it, it appears that the statute itself on bond issues may limit recons reconsideration, but I will entertain the motion. Um, uh, uh, it, it, yeah, I'll, re I'll entertain the motion. It can't meet, this body can't override the provisions of the statute. So. Um, as I understand, the statute already says that a motion to reconsider requires uh, a vote uh, seven days out, uh, and that's by the, the, the bond law statute. Uh, but I will enter, accept the motion uh, for uh, to res restrict reconsideration of Articles 5, 6, and 7 um, under the provisions of RSA 40, colon 10. Is there a second for that motion? I see seconds all over. Um, um, Ms. Knowles. Is the second? Is there a debate on the motion to restrict reconsideration? Mr. Roberts. Mr. Roderick, could you just clarify because the statute says that if there's a vote in favor of reconsideration, that reconsideration must occur seven days from now at a time and place to be decided. So I don't think anybody wants to come back here in a week. So I think if, is the motion, and I would defer to Mr. Rollo. Is the motion to reconsider or is the motion not to reconsider? And as I understand the statute, I think it's going to be a motion to, to restrict reconsideration. Okay, that's how he's phrased it. So a yes vote means we don't have to come back seven days from now. Correct. So um, thank you for the question. Um, uh, what a, so one of the uh, town meetings, uh, people can. Um, I'll say play games. I don't mean that to disparage anybody's policy view on what happens, but as people begin to filter out of the room, um, the, the, one of the things that can happen is that people who did not favor the adoption of an article that was passed, uh, who, or who favored the adoption of an article and lost, they may move the body to reconsider the earlier vote. The legislative body remains in session until we adjourn after Article 23. Uh, and so a motion, this, the legislature has uh, established a statute to restrict reconsideration. And it says if the body moves later to reconsider, um, the people in the room at the time still get to vote. Um, but that the, action, the, vote on the, reconsider, the vote on the reconsidered article would take place at a later time. So um, uh, let me encourage you as your moderator to remain in the room throughout the town meeting. Uh, to prevent motions to reconsider. Um, but this motion to restrict reconsideration is to try to make sure that um, the body doesn't overturn the will of the majority on the earlier votes with a, uh, with a very small group of people in the room at the end. Does that explanation help? I see some heads nodding. Uh, is further ex would further explanation be ready? It would be helpful. Four, um, four tellers, if you could take your positions. Um, a yes vote is to restrict reconsideration, to say, look, if there is a later request to reconsider, we're going to do it at a later time. A no vote is not to restrict reconsideration, to allow the body to take any action it wants to take at any time. 
So uh, if we're ready to vote, those in favor of restricting reconsideration, please raise your card. Those, please make a count. to hopefully solve this problem once and for all. 
We are working with our dear friends over at the city of Dover that have volunteered to um, allow us to use a device that they can blow smoke into a certain pipe. And if you have smoke in your house, you know that you may be part of the problem. Um, and the town would be, would be addressing where some of the water issues are coming from. Um, and we're hoping that we'll, at least on that little piece of uh, the village, will help solve some major water issues that we have there. The other is Pinch Hill Road. You will say, Mike, I think there's only one house on Pinch Hill Road, and you're absolutely correct. But what there also is on Pinch Hill Road, now there's also a step on the other end of Pinch Hill, correct? Off of uh, Slide Road, there's a business and love the houses down there. But what there also is, is a boulder that is sticking out the truth through Pinch Hill. And when the plow comes through, it gets damaged. So this board has struggled with whether or not um, that is the, the number one priority, the number one road. Um, I believe none of us want to see any other town property damaged. Uh, so we have come to the conclusion that it makes sense to do that part of Pinch Hill this year so that we will stop damaging our, our, our machines. But then you can also see, which hasn't happened in the past, you can see, this is a document that in 2018 we have plans for another road. 2019 we have plans, continued plans for some of the roads and other roads. 2020, 2021, 2022, I think you get the point, all the way up to 2026. Now, priorities can change. We have to understand that as well. So this document isn't carved in stone, but it does show this body that this select board takes our road maintenance very seriously and that we are working, we're, we're working hard to plan and, we're, and we're, 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 we're trying to be proactive. I think what we've been hearing all morning and now in the afternoon is that this board doesn't want to govern prices for prices anymore. We want to be able to present you with a clear, articulate plan and, 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 and stop spikes in the tax rate. So this is one of the means to do that. We have, um, you have, thank, thank you all for, um, for passing the uh, amendment to an Article 8 to, to raise and we'll eventually find out whether or not the, uh, the overall result is, but part of the funding for the road project that you'll see on this sheet comes from the operating budget and the vast majority of it comes from Article 9. So if you're wondering how those numbers, how, why they don't jive on uh, the 10 year plan, as um, regards to Article 9, that's why. Part of it is an operating, part of it is an ignoring operating. And I'm happy to answer any questions people may have, but this board has worked, and I thank our chair, our road agent, and the wonderful people at Stratford Regional Planning Commission that uh, have assisted in the development of this plan. We had a public hearing uh, not yeah, several months ago where folks came out and they had some questions, and we were happy to answer them then, but are there people that have questions here now? That's why we're here, to have a deliberation and to chat about uh, what you may have for concern. So I'm happy to answer any questions. So it looks like we're in debate on Article 9, unless we have results from Article 8 to announce. I'll recognize Ms. Hewitt, but I'll first announce the results on Warrant Article 8, which was the town budget as amended. Yes uh, was 70, no was 28, uh, and I find that the Warrant Article 8 is adopted as amended. Um, Ms. Hewitt. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Merrill, for the wonderful explanation. I just wanted to make sure, because I know there's been a misunderstanding of some people's part in the past, that our planning tools, our tenure planning windows, so it's not like at the end of 10 years, everything will be done and we'll all go home. It's a planning window. So every year we'll have a 10-year road plan. Every year we'll have a 10-year capital improvement uh, uh, project plan. Every year we'll have spending projections. And the other thing I want to add to the boundary street is that, because I'm not sure I heard it, is that we also plan to put in an underdrain, like a French drain under the road, to help with the water flushing problem uh, at the corner foundry and south. Um, a question.
question for the select board to go through the moderator. At one of the earlier meetings, when we discussed road resurfacing and so forth, there was a discussion about a sidewalk that used to be on Foundry. Are there any plans that, for when Foundry is resurfaced to put that back in, or is it going to be admitted again? And, and before the members uh, below response to the question, if you could just identify yourself for the record again. Celia Leopold, 426 Washington Street. Thank you, Ms. Leopold. Mr. Rowe, you understand the question? I understand the question, but that's what I'm thinking about. Um, yes, I, I understand the question. No, there are no plans to put in sidewalks on Foundry Street. Uh, but if you do look on your, um, on your plan, you'll notice that the village uh, district is uh, slated for 2020. Uh, on, on this plan, and there are plans to uh, do repairs, maybe repairs with sidewalks at that time, but there are no repairs in the future about the park for the inclusion of uh, sidewalk on Boundary Street. Further debate on Warren Article 9. Don't want to rush the body, but don't want to prolong the meeting when necessary. Okay, uh, I find that uh, debate on Warren Article 9 is closed. Um, and we are ready for the vote. A, a yes vote um, is to raise an appropriate approximately $225,000 for road repairs. Uh, a no vote is to reject that proposal for, um, uh, for the coming year. Uh, tellers, if you could take your positions, please. Uh, those in favor of Warren Article 9, please raise your card time. Are tellers counting? Uh, okay, before you start counting, um, let me check. Those opposed to Warren Article 9, please raise your card high. I guess even I can do that. <laughs> All right, so.